You can create a group from any geometric shape by looking at the symmetries of the shape. The symmetries are the transformations where you flip and rotate the shape so it looks the same before and after. These symmetries form a group called the group of symmetries. When the shape is a regular polygon, the group of symmetries is called the dihedral group. The word dihedral means two faces and is related to polyhedron, which means many faces. Let's look at the symmetries for a regular polygon with n sides. The simplest transformation of all is nothing. The transformation which makes no changes at all will serve as the identity element in the group and is denoted by the letter E. One symmetry is a clockwise rotation, not a complete turn, but just enough of a rotation so the polygon looks the same as the initial position. But what is the size of the angle for this rotation? Since it would take n rotations to make a complete 360 degree turn, the size of the rotation is 360 over n degrees, or if you prefer, 2 pi over n radians. Let's call this rotation symmetry R. Repeated applications of R give you other symmetries. Rotating the polygon twice is R squared. Rotating the polygon three times is R cubed, and so on. If you rotate the polygon n times, you return to the starting position. So R to the nth power is the identity element E. Another symmetry of this polygon is reflection. If the polygon has n sides, then there are n different reflections. When the polygon has an odd number of sides, the axes of symmetry are the lines through the vertices. If there are an even number of sides, then the axes of symmetry are the lines through opposing vertices and the lines through opposing sides. Let's start with reflection about the vertical axis and call this transformation F for flip. If you flip twice, you return to the original position of the shape. So F squared is E. By the way, this assumes that our polygon is aligned vertically. If the polygon slightly tilted, then a flip about the vertical axis would not be a symmetry. The before and after are different. The remaining symmetries of this shape can be found by combining R and F. If you first flip the shape, you can then perform up to n minus 1 rotations to get the remaining symmetries. If you perform n rotations after a flip, you get the same result as just a flip. So there are a total of two n different symmetries for a regular n-sided polygon. Because there are only a finite number of elements in this group, we say the dihedral group is a finite group. And notice that if you flip, then rotate, you get a different outcome than if you rotate, then flip. In other words, R times F does not equal F times R. The dihedral group is not commutative. Another way to say this is non-abelian. Unfortunately, there are two competing notations for the dihedral group. Some people write D sub N to indicate the number of sides of the polygon. Others write D sub 2N to highlight the number of elements in the group. So be careful, since for example, D sub 6 could either mean the dihedral group of the hexagon or the dihedral group for an equilateral triangle. When you're talking to your friends about group theory, be sure you agree on notation. Thank you for watching to the very end of this video. You have a nice attention span. I like that in a viewer. I especially like that in a subscriber. Oh, will you look at that? Buttons. <laughs> just love to be clicked. No pressure or anything, though. No. I'll just give you two a moment. <laughs>